Let's look at uh, how to resolve vectors. Let's look at resolution of forces. Let's look at how to resolve vectors. Okay. Now, now when a vector is at an angle, that vector is said to have two parts or two components. Any vector that is in two components or in two dimensions has two components. It has what we call a vertical component, one, and it has what we call an horizontal component. So a vector can have a vertical component and an horizontal component. I will show us very soon what I'm talking about. A vector has a vertical component and an horizontal component. I will show us right here on my screen. Now, let's show us some stuff right here. Now, this vector as you can see, it's inclined. So it has what I call two components. The first component is, is the vertical component, as you can see. Look at the screen, please. It's what? Vertical component. Here is the vertical component. While at the bottom, here is the horizontal component. If you don't mind, I can write it out. Here is the vertical component. All right. Why um, why this is the horizontal component. So what I'm saying is that a vector that is inclined has two components, the vertical and the what? Horizontal. Why this is the what? The vector, the vector here. Now, we can find the formulas for these vectors by using uh, what we call the um, Socatois. 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 Do we remember Socatois? Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, good. All right, good. Now, we can find the components of the vertical and the word horizontal. Now, okay, we can find the component for the vertical and for the horizontal. If you remember in your in your math, this line, this vertical line facing the angle is called the opposite. Is that true? It's called the opposite. This line here, F1, is called your hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Uh, this line, this line carrying your angle is called the adjacent. It's called the adjacent. Alright, now let's find the component or let's find the formula for the vertical component. How do I find the formula for the vertical 
component. The first thing I do, okay, this is the vertical component. Alright. And here, here is my horizontal component. Alright, good. Now, guys, tell me now, how do I find V on this angle? What formula should I use? From Sokatoa to find my to find my V. Any idea? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we use what? We use sine theta equal to what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. I like that. So now, from the question, what is my opposite? Is my V? Is my V? What is my hypotenuse? Is my F1? F1. So when we transpose, what do we get? We now have V equal to what? F1 sine sine theta. So this means that to find the formula of the vertical component, we use what? F1 sine theta. Okay, so to find your h, your h, we can use what? We can use the cos. We can use uh, cos theta. We can use uh, cos theta. Cos theta is equal to what? Adjacent. Yes, thank you. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Thank you very much. And what is my adjacent? It is uh, H, H over F1. H over F1. So I can say when we transpose my H, my H is equal to what? F1, F1 cos theta. So guys, this is a formula for finding the horizontal component. So I've given us formulas for finding the vertical component and the horizontal component. It's as simple as this. It's very important to know the various components of a vector. When the vector is inclined just like this, it has two components. It has the vertical component and the horizontal component. Next is uh, the formulas. Now, when you are asked to find the resultant of forces, we use this formula. As you all know, when I say resultant, it means that it has what? A size and a direction. Resultant means that the forces are what a size and a duration. Now, I was saying that an inclined force has what a vertical component and what a horizontal component. Now, your V, your V, your V is your V is the what is the V is the total total vertical component. So if you have more than four, more than one forces, you find their various components and you add it up. Why your H? Why your H? Your H is H is the total total 
it is what total horizontal component. So it is what total horizontal component. So when you get the component of the vertical and horizontal, you find their total and you put them into this formula to get your resultant. Then to get your angle, you put the V into this formula, the H into this formula, you get your angle. Alright? Now, this angle must be to the positive horizontal axis. What do I mean by that? For example, when you draw your four cardinal points in mass, the four cardinal points, this is your uh, plus y, here is your negative y, here is your negative x, and here is your plus x. Now, I'm saying that this angle here must be to the what? Positive x axis. If your angle, if your answer from the angle falls outside this angle, what you do is that you subtract from what? 180. Become 180 minus what? Theta. I repeat that. If if your answer, if your angle is not within this plus x axis, what we do is that we subtract it from what? From 180. Alright? So this is the formula we use to find the resultant of forces. 